Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Peer, and welcome to the Salty Science Podcast. And this is a super exciting time because this is episode number 13, which means we have officially made it through our first quarter. Woohoo! And what better way to celebrate our 13th episode than by having our very first Salty Science listeners episode. And so for the past 12 weeks, I've been ending each episode by giving you reasons why marine scientists care and even why I personally care about the different topics we've discussed so far. And then I asked you to give me your reasons why you think we should care or even why you personally care about the different episode topics. And I just have to say that my listeners totally rock because they rose to the challenge and have provided some great answers thoughts, and insights. And so listeners, this episode is all about you today and what you have to say. Okay, so I want to start out with the very first listener response I ever received, which actually sparked the idea to have a listener's episode. This email comes from Tony91820 in response to episode one on salt and the question, why should we care about salt in the ocean? And Tony91820 said, dear Stephanie, first of all, If 50% of the oxygen we breathe comes from the ocean, it's important for us to know at least something about the ocean, especially about the salt in the ocean because salt impacts everything and it changes things. In the ocean, it changes water like what you said in the episode, but salt also changes other things too. I personally use salt, especially when I'm cooking, because it changes the flavor of the food and makes it taste so much better. And I don't know if you knew this, but salt actually used to be used as money and is how we got the word salary. And today the sea salt industry is a billion dollar industry. And so that's why I personally care. I love the show, keep up the good work, signed, Tony. Well, thank you, Tony91820 for sharing your email with us. And I did look it up. I didn't know that's where we got the word salary from, but it also turns out in my research, it's also where we get the word salad from too. And as a vegan, I eat a lot of salad. So fun fact for me, yay. Okay, so now to the next email. All right, so this one comes from KL2019 and they write, Hi Stephanie, I'm responding to your question from episode two. Why should we care about salinity? Well, I know that salinity makes a big difference between when I go swimming at the shore versus in a lake because I have to use different hair products after I swim because of the salt. But on a more serious note, a friend of mine has, or actually had, a local oyster farm. But last year we had a lot of rain and the salinity dropped so low that it killed all of his oysters and he actually went out of business because of it. So I just want to say that knowing something about salinity is very important, especially if you're in the fishing industry or you just like to eat seafood. Sincerely, KL. Wow, KL, I feel really bad about your friend, but thank you so much for sharing that story with us. Okay, so our next email comes from Phantom Clown. Oh my goodness, I love that name. All right, and... And Phantom Clown writes, Hi Stephanie, I love the show. I just want to say that as a fellow scuba diver, I also care about how light and temperature changes the deeper you dive. For example, on one of my very first dives, I underestimated how cold the water can get. A couple of buddies and myself decided to go diving over spring break a couple years ago, and while on land, it was a very hot and sunny day, and we were just wearing shorts and tank tops. But when we were suiting up, I noticed that everyone else who was diving that day were putting on really thick wetsuits. But at the time, I thought they were all just totally crazy, and I'm like, no way, because it was too hot. But to make a long story short, I had to end my dive early because the water just got way too cold for me. And so ever since that dive, I make sure I know the temperature of the water at the depth in which I'm diving, and not just the temperature on the boat. Keep up the good work, Phantom Clown. Well, thank you for sharing that story, Phantom Clown. I can also relate. I was in the Florida Keys in January of this year and diving and and underestimated that even in 70 degree water temperature that I would still need a wetsuit. And when I was down in the water with my guide and my buddy, I quickly realized how much I appreciated that wetsuit and was really glad I had it because I was able to enjoy the dive. So yes, temperature is a good thing to know about diving. But thank you for sharing your story, Phantom Clown. I totally appreciate it. Okay, and now our next email comes from 14X. And they write, I started to listen to the show because I love the ocean and I'm kind of into science, but I personally prefer outer space and astronomy rather than, say, marine science. So I was delightfully surprised to learn so much about the sun and our solar system on a marine science podcast. 
and I never quite realized that the sun has such a diverse impact on our oceans. I can't wait to hear more. Best regards, 14X. Yes, 14X, I can agree with you. I did not think that when studying the ocean, I would have to learn so much about our solar system and the sun, but it is interesting to see how much the sun does play a role on our oceans. But stay tuned to future episodes because we'll learn even more about how the sun and moon and other planets can even impact our ocean. Okay, and so now our last email that I'll be reading is a very sweet email that I received, and it goes, Dear Dr. Tepper, and listeners, you now know my childhood nickname. I have enjoyed listening to the Salty Science Podcast. I do not know any further uses of the salinity stratification than what you have already mentioned, but I really enjoy listening to it. Your loyal listener, Dad. Aw, thanks, Dad. I really appreciate that you would submit an email for a listener episode. And FYI, listeners, my dad listens to every single episode of this podcast, and he gives me feedback on every episode, so I had to include him in this episode. Okay, well that was a great first listeners episode, and I want to say thank you to everyone who submitted an answer, and even if your answer wasn't read out loud in this episode, I totally appreciate hearing what you have to say. And if your email was read aloud, make sure to check your inboxes for a special surprise from me. Okay, so as I close this episode, I just want to say a big thank you once again to everyone who submitted an answer. And just to let you all know, our next listeners episode will be in 13 more weeks and air on January 31st, 2020. And for this next listeners episode, I have a new challenge for you. I want to hear your best, your funniest, your silliest, or even just your most memorable experience at the beach, out at sea, at an aquarium, underwater, etc. And if your story involves the ocean or water, I want to hear about it. And finally, I just want to say a big special thank you to everyone who has let me know over the past 13 weeks that they really enjoyed the show. I just want to say that your encouragement has been truly appreciated, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so until next time, don't forget to keep our oceans clean and to always stay salty. Thank you for listening to Salty Science. But guess what? You don't have to let the fun end here. Go to www.saltysciencepodcast.weebly.com where I've posted some cool videos, my study notes, and some really neat experiments that you can try at home. And if you want to follow along with my own research, you can follow me on Instagram user handle Teps Adventure. That's T-E-P-S Adventure. All Salty Science episodes are available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcast, and YouTube, plus a number of other podcasting apps. If you like the show, please rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes as this is the best way to spread the word about this podcast. Salty Science is listener supported, so if you would like to show your support, visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com forward slash salty science, where you can either make a one-time donation of any amount or join the Salty Science crew for as little as a dollar a month. So visit the Salty Science Patreon and sign up today.